Imagine, what would you do if the world will end in three days? I'm, would you eat? Would you play video games? Or would you go on vacation with your family? How, this is what most, most teens will say, but however, I wouldn't. Because I believe there's more to life than just playing, eating, and just being relaxed. I believe that everyone in the world should believe God because they belong to God. I, I believe they should go to heaven and have an eternal life with God. First off, I believe this because everyone in the world should go to heaven. I learned this in church that everybody in the world should because God, God's point of the, God's point of making humans was to send them to heaven. I will go on mission trips in India or other countries that they will believe in God and pray for them, talk about God, and read the Bible to them. I will actually fly to India and other countries and talk to them. So I really encourage you to not just <coughs> play video games and eat, but believe in God. First thing I noticed was your opening. And I thought that you had a very good opening in mind. You said imagine, and then you went on to what if what if the world would end in three days. And you just kind of rushed that part. And I said that it's it, it, I think it would be more effective if you said imagine and you pause for a second and you say the world will end in, in, in three days. It's all about the dramatic effect. You make, your, your, you make yourself sound more important it makes your it makes your point a lot more <clears throat> a lot more devastating it carries a bit more weight so that's another it's a variation of tone it's called rhythm so having the right rhythm is important you want to pause at certain points you want to speak quickly in other points to emphasize excitement but other than that I think that if you had pause there it would have been a lot better so I think your tone I think your tone needs to be worked on again uh, it sounds like you're reading <clears throat> so I want you to have tone, have, have, have the right tone for this type of speech. So I, want, I just want to ask you a quick question. Um, what was the purpose of your speech? What was your general purpose? That there's more to life than just eating. That's another no, general purpose is to inform, to persuade, to oh, yeah. to inspire, and to entertain. What's the general purpose? Okay, and what was the specific purpose? What do what do you want the audience to 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 learn or to know about or to do after listening to your speech? To believe. Okay. There are two topics that people should generally avoid when doing public speaking. The first is religion. Religion. The second is politics, because you never know. The audience. If we're all Christian, that's fine. If you're doing the speaking in front of your church, I'm sure it'll be fine. What if there was a Muslim in the audience? What if there was a Hindu? What if there was a, a person of different religion? You would, you'd run the risk of offending. So when you're in a crowd where you don't know the audience, you don't know how they will react, you want to avoid controversial points. And But if you, like I said before, if you know that the audience is Christian, you know that it's going to be well received by the audience, then it's fine. You can make that speech. <coughs> Same with Luciano's speech. If he was making that speech in front of the correct audience, it would have been fine. It would have been safe. What, what type of correct audience? See, I don't really know. I, don't, I, I, I really don't know what the right audience for that speech would be. But if there was one, it would be fine. And, but that's the challenge. You never quite know how your audience is going to perceive it. And you never quite know which audience you have. When you walk into a room full of people you've never seen before, you don't know what type of people they are. You don't know their agenda. You don't know their politics. So always avoid religion and politics. 
in the speech unless you're unless you're absolutely sure that's going to be well received. Okay, but just to iterate. Oh, and then, uh, another thing is your ending. You said yeah, thanks, and then you kind of walked off. And I said that before the beginning and the ending are the most important parts of the speech. The beginning sets the tone. The ending re recaps all that you just said. So you want to have a good finish, a good strong finish. You want to start strong, you want to end strong. So I think that your ending could have been improved on. Your eye contact improved a little bit. You did look up or down, you looked straight ahead, but you also used the paper. So you looked at the paper, so that took away from that. And also your hand gestures give it a bit more varied. It was impeded because you had a piece of paper in your hand. But other than that, you could have had, you could have used a bit more. So to reiterate, you want to work on your rhythm. You want to work on your tone. Avoid controversial topics. Have a better ending. Have better eye contact and as well as very uh, hand gestures. Okay? All right, well done. The next is...